Uh, firstly, thank you all for uh, showing great interest uh, to know about the onboarding to offering. And uh, I'm, I'm certainly sure uh, the session will go uh, help you to go uh, get a, a sneak preview of the, this simplified tool. Um, as we know, onboarding is, is the process of uh, introducing new employees to the organization environment and culture. Uh, it aims to reduce turnover and uh, also educate new hires quickly about the culture of the company and their uh, the individual's roles and responsibilities. So what is onboarding SAP onboarding to solution or SAP success factor onboarding to solution um, is all about is uh, it allows you to integrate uh, seamlessly new hire into an organization and uh, get to know about the culture of the company uh, uh, which is which is which is very imperative for the candidate uh, to stay committed with the organization and contribute to, to his, his his best of abilities it it also simplifies the complexities of the existing onboarding process onboarding mm -hmm. too and uh, onboarding too she is actually nimble and uh, she's simple and certainly a customer delight and, and today, uh, we're going to see how simple onboarding tool is and how it, it helps to uh, save a lot of time and improve both uh, in-house uh, stakeholders' uh, uh, experience and also especially the candidate experience. Let's quickly jump into the solution. Uh, we will, for the purpose of the demonstration, uh, we will see how the candidate gets added uh, or participate in the recruitment process, uh, and then how he seamlessly transfers recruitment to onboarding and uh, becomes an employee and in the employee central module. So, we, for the purpose of the demonstration, we quickly log in proxy in as uh, our favorite Tessa Walker. And today's candidate, uh, one of our favorite candidates would be D. Trump. We will we'll hire D. Trump into the organization against a particular requisition that is available. So we quickly go into recruitment. So this is the uh, requisition against which we are going to hire D. Trump. So we see this, we will add a candidate against uh, this requisition. Quickly fill in uh, all the mandatory information for the candidate to create a profile. This will, this will be real. It's just going to happen in uh, instantly, you know, less than a couple of moments. We're going to uh, remove some of the not so relevant or important information that the uh, recruiter feels so that we'll keep it real easy. Uh, I think we'll search for this particular candidate. Just making sure something good.
this information is there. So we don't need to create this. We should be able to find this kind of here. Yep, we see it here, decomp. Just took a while. Um, thanks for being patient here. Uh, we just want to ensure that the right candidate has been added here. So D Trump is the candidate. We are going to forward the candidate to the requisition here. We search just to make sure we are selecting the right requisition here. 2738 is the requisition. So we see this here when we go to the requisition. It's simple. It's convenient, it's, it's easy to add a candidate and move the candidate across the talent pipeline. So we will see this candidate added in the uh, forwarded status here. We we'll pretty drag and drop this candidate. Roll of the offer because the candidate is, is a quite a good fit for this particular portion. And this is, uh, this is mandatory for us to onboard the candidate. We need to uh, offer. And uh, just to make sure uh, it does not uh, does not throw an error message when an onboarding is initiated, the start date has to be uh, filled in as well. That I mentioned the previous step here. I'll just select that. It's thirty first of, and I'll save this application here. And candidate, please. Offer is ready to be approved before we initiate an onboarding for this particular candidate. It's it's very simple, it's easy, and we just time can sign saving to be. Tessa Walker approves this requisition, also the offer. Candidate is ready to be on board. So now D Trump is ready to be on board. We also find M. Obam and a lot of other sports uh, favorite uh, sports stars are already be on board. And we'll also roll out an and on board D Trump. Here we go. So this this is we are ready to. Uh, see how onboarding experience is all about for internal and uh, the candidate. I'm confirm. D Trump has been initiated, onboarding has been initiated for D Trump here. So they should D Trump would be receiving an email now um, just to uh, confirm that he has been added in the uh, system. Yep, so we see this here. And he's gotten um, email saying it's been added in this system now 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 that onboarding has been initiated it is maya cooper uh, another uh, a participant in the process the onboarding process that would need to uh, initiate the first step before we we see how it looks like we'll quickly see what are the steps involved in the onboarding so this is an, a, a, a standard process that we have used for this demonstration it can be flexible can be customized as per the customer needs so we start off uh, with the new uh, uh, reviewing of new hire data that is done, post which the uh, candidates uh, candidate is requested to submit more additional information uh, by onboarding. And if there is any additional new hire task that needs to be allocated to the can uh, a central candidate, that can also be performed. Finally, when everything is done, the onboarding process is complete, and the candidate will be ready to be uh, converted as employee in the employee center. So the data the data seamlessly flows between RCM now with lies with onboarding and then it moves to employee center. So we will see how we'll see the complete process here. The first part, the first step, Maya Cooper would review the data. It again depends on the participant for the demonstration purpose. It's an hiring manager. 
So we will quickly process uh, Maya Cooper. And so we see this uh, tiles here um, that indicates that there is someone who is waiting to be uh, you know, onboarded and it's, it's due in 22 days. This alerts Maya and so she can just click on this particular tile and she would start the process. Click on this, it's due in three weeks. So she's, she's alerted and she's ready to complete the uh, process. So she's doing some minor changes here. She's changing the company information. It'll be real quick for Maya to complete all this information. It will hardly, it'll hardly take a couple of minutes for her to complete this. Changes the department and the cost center and also relevant time information. So once, once she completes this, she can click on submit. Only relevant information are captured here, uh, just for the demonstration purpose. So, so there is a notification or uh, a pop-up which says that yes, uh, the changes, because she has done some changes, the onboarding, the onboarding will be notified. Let's click on continue. Now that Maya Cooper has done that, has initiated the first step, it is the, an, an email would be triggered to the uh, the candidate uh, and uh, allow the candidate to log into the system and complete the rest of the steps here. So there's a welcome email from the onboarding application. So it will say that, uh, hello, D. Trump, uh, click on to uh, here or if you want to reset, because it's the first time you're just logging in, so you just reset it. So D. Trump has logged in and, you know, getting the experience of how seamless onboarding uh, is actually, how, how uh, it is actually. He sees, he or she sees some of the tiles here uh, and uh, the to do that the uh, onboarding has to complete. So D. Trump has some tasks that needs to do. He just clicks on this. Yeah some information about the candidate. So this is a message that will pop up, which says will move to onboarding to section of the homepage. Just click on OK. So we will see uh, some of the tiles getting updated once the, uh, uh, the participants uh, make some changes like uh, in terms of uh, uh, adding uh, uh, useful contacts for the candidate to uh, uh, and, and for example, or any meetings that have been proposed, uh, that is something we will see in the uh, coming steps. So the candidate will also, as pa part of the process, will also need to uh, give some additional uh, data that will be required as part of the additional onboarding data collection process.
Great. So, so now, now it is, uh, it is, it is with uh, the uh, other participant who would uh, suggest uh, uh, some of the uh, relevant details for the applicant, like uh, some re useful references, sites to visit, so on and so forth. Uh, we've talked seen as another participant here in the onboarding process. We'll see what experience that has to be. So Jenny is another participant in the onboarding process. Um, she'll be uh, performing some of the uh, tasks like when she goes to the onboarding dashboard tile here, she'll be able to suggest some of the uh, sites for the candidate, new candidate, some of the uh, the buddies or uh, that she can interact, he or she can interact with, uh, some of the uh, important details. So in the in the Yep. So, so this is how uh, Jenny sees. So, this is basically the uh, uh, it says it's on track, and these are some of the tasks that she would she would actually assign. So, so she she let's 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 see how she can assign a buddy uh, candidate. She, this is the candidate. So many other candidates like Rafanada, Monica Celes, but but this is due uh, in three weeks. So she selects D Trump. And she recommends Peter Ashwin. Uh, she says she feels he's awesome. Then you can't submit. So she can subsequently uh, search for other can uh, 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 other employees and also add them. Now she can also these these are some of the optional things that uh, she can do. She can also suggest some links uh, for the for the candidate to visit in the meanwhile before joining on board. So it says that notifies that the onboarding has been notified. So she can also schedule meeting. Intro to intro meeting with the team the online. So let's say copy cafeteria. Cafeteria. Clicks on add and submit. The meeting has been saved and we share with a new member. So, some of the uh, other tasks are all off uh, where to go, write a welcome message, prepare for day one, recommend people. Right? So, once we Trump, uh, so once Jenny has actually done this, now candidate, uh, we'll, we'll see how what. Uh, the candidate sees when the candidate logs in. She would see this different tiles that's been updated now, and it will also prompt as per the step to provide additional uh, onboarding data. So this is prompting popping up saying, "Let's get started." So she would provide additional information. Let's say if she wants to change something, he or she wants to change some information, and it can do. So, so it it is it is warning that. Any changes post submission would only have to be routed to the, the proper channel. So the candidate is fine with it and clicks on submit. Yep. So as per the process here, the next step is nothing but the additional uh, information that the company wants from the applicant. So for the, from the candidate, we will see what information it is. It can be anything for that matter. It can be like um, the scanned copy of license, uh, scanned copy of passport, uh, whether uh, a food coupon will be required, or um, is, there a, is there a parking lot that will be required? Is there a t-shirt that will be required? So on and so forth. We will see how what 
what the candidate experiences. So candidate clicks on this additional task that would be required. And so we see that uh, some of the additional uh, uh, things that needs to be filled, like you know, is the candidate wants a parking place, yes, and parking number, not not seven. The car car model is an Audi, and it fits on. And what is the size of the T-shirt? It's an L. Preferred color. These are all customizable. You can say gray. Click on done. Thank you for submitting the information. The pop-up message that they throws and click on OK. So and as we discussed, as we saw earlier, some of the tiles that are already updated with the links that um, Jenny recommended. Uh, SAP was the link. So you see that here. And uh, she referred a couple of recommended couple of people like Peter Ashman. Oh, he's he, Italy is awesome, so she would connect with Peter Washman. And uh, because we have not updated where to go and prepare for day one, and there was a meeting at the Capit area that the candidate would be interested to see. Clicks on this. So it's, it's, there is a scheduled time. So the candidate is actually well prepared for everything for a seamless experience. So, so now that onboarding uh, is completed, now the data is actually seamlessly moved to would be ready to be uh, transferred uh, to employee central. We will see what what how it looks like. So, the Coxine as uh, uh, Tessa, let's for for just for demonstration purpose, we will see to we'll be able to see the candidate in many hires. Normally, it is real time the sync between onboarding and uh, the employee central. You be, we must be in a position to see uh, D Trump. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So the candidate is is actually ready to be onboarded. Sorry, not onboarded. Uh, is ready to be converted as an employee. The only thing the uh, the uh, participants do from the company per se is just click on this, and the candidate is ready to be converted as an employee. So this screen that we see is nothing but the employee central screen. And so there is an experience, seamless experience of how data flows from recruiting to onboarding to the employee central module. Um, that's it for the purpose of this demonstration. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, I'm sure, it, um, I hope it gave you a glimpse of what onboarding solution, onboarding to solution is all about. Uh, if you like, the, like this video, please click on and click on share it and share it with as many as as many people you would like to, would be if you think you would benefited of this particular demonstration. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.